It is a well-known fact that chicken is man's most favorite protein. From the eggs we eat every day for breakfast to the chicken we have for lunch, they've become part of our everyday lives. But have you ever stopped to think about how they're made in mass production? From the poultry farm to the dining table, we're about to show you the process of how chickens are produced by the millions. So join us as we take you through the different stages of the chicken egg incubation technology and the broiler raising methods and processes. Egg harvesting. The beginning of this amazing journey to a well-scrumptious meal begins with egg harvesting, an important step in poultry farming. This is where eggs are carefully selected by farmers for either food production or incubation. Eggs are actually harvested from thousands of laying hens. The number of these chickens varies depending on the size of the chicken sheds. In industrial poultry farms, the chicken sheds or raising area have the capacity to house between 20,000 and 100,000 laying hens, or even more. These chickens have been raised and reared to produce eggs for mass consumption, while others are sent to be incubated. Some layered hens of some breeds can produce over 300 eggs per year. The highest authenticated rate of egg laying is 371 eggs in 364 days. That's quite impressive, meaning that about four eggs are laid every five days. And with the huge numbers of chickens, these eggs are approximately entering the millions. After the eggs have been selected, the farmers then take the rest to be incubated. To begin the incubation process, farmers will harvest eggs in pre-arranged nests in the chicken raising area. The most appropriate time to harvest eggs is in the morning, shortly after the chicken egg has just been laid. This is done because the longer the egg is allowed to stay in the nest, the more likely it is to get dirty, broken, or lose interior quality. To better understand this, it might be helpful to explain why eggs are best removed early after they are laid. When eggs are left in the nest for too long, the unstable temperature can negatively affect the quality of the egg white, yolk, and, most importantly, overall freshness. But on a commercial farm that produces eggs in mass production, the process of egg harvesting doesn't require the eggs to be harvested manually, which helps in saving time and reduces stress. The reason is that there are automatic machines that help in egg harvesting because human contact has been proven to reduce egg production. The eggs will be turned automatically, and this is pre-programmed on the equipment of the incubator. The frequent presence of humans in the chicken raising area causes stress for them, leading to low egg production. The automatic egg harvesting or collection systems support bringing chicken eggs directly from the hen cage to the container outside the cage, limiting human contact and also helping keep the chicken eggs more hygienic. A standard automatic egg collection system plays a very important role in the breeding and feeding management of laying hens and the prosperity of the entire poultry system. With the high speed and mechanical efficiency, the eggs are collected gently and the quality of the eggs is fully preserved. Egg processing. After the careful selection of these eggs, a more intensive process follows, known as egg grading. If you're unaware of what egg grading entails, here's an explanation. Egg grading is a system that involves sorting eggs into one of three grades, grade AA, grade A, and grade B. Each of these grades is determined by assessing both the interior quality of the egg and the exterior quality of the eggshell. This stage is not only done to determine the egg quality, but it also affects the health and quality of the chickens. Consequently, workers in factories remove eggs that are cracked, deformed, broken, crushed, or show signs of contamination. After this, eggs are examined under light to check their quality. During this intensive process, excessively large or small eggs are removed. Large eggs often hatch poorly, and small eggs may produce small chicks, which are sometimes deformed. Cracked eggs, or those with thin shells, have difficulty retaining the moisture that is needed for the chick to grow properly. Also, this makes the chick exposed to disease-causing organisms that can easily infect the eggs. Therefore, only the best eggs are selected. Good quality eggs have clear whites and yolks in the middle. But to be on the safer side, egg collection machines are used to have the eggs further scrutinized. Using the Viscon hatchery automation, for example, this state-of-the-art egg collection system helps workers collect eggs, 
without having to do a thing. First, incoming eggs are held under optimum conditions until the moment they are placed in the incubators. These optimum conditions are created by a proper hygiene level, good storage conditions, and delicate handling in the egg room. These eggs then pass through a scanner, which identifies and removes eggs that cannot be hatched. These non-viable eggs are marked as blue eggs. Finally, the eggs are put into trays to prepare the injection. These are certified organic vaccines, not antibiotics. Chicken eggs are then placed in incubation trays and left to wait at room temperature, about 20 to 22 degrees Celsius, for 24 hours before being put into an incubator. This process ensures that only the best eggs make it into the incubation, where they are incubated for 21 days. When these eggs arrive here, they are labeled and placed together according to the day they hatched and what farm the eggs came from. This ensures traceability, so companies know exactly where the eggs came from and when. The incubation process involves 24 setters, each holding 24 trolleys, totaling around 120,000 eggs. These shelves are then put into large incubators, which look like huge refrigerators, but they actually keep the eggs warm at a particular temperature range and in the correct humidity, around 37.5 to 38.5 degrees Celsius. With an inbuilt turning mechanism, the eggs are turned several times a day, typically two to three times to make sure the eggs are evenly heated and to stop the embryo from sticking to the side of the shell. Egg incubators work by simulating the natural environment created when a hen starts brooding. When a mother hen does her job properly, the rooster provides the right temperature, humidity levels, and rotation needed for the chicks to hatch. This natural process is replicated in the incubation system to create an environment similar to nature. After 18 days, the eggs are transferred into a hatcher basket to prevent chicks from hatching into trays. The risk of bacterial contamination, particularly in older flocks, is reduced through spraying with a non-toxic solution. Hatchery. One of the most beautiful things about nature is the transformation and growth of life. And the transformation of a chicken from an egg to a chick is by far the most beautiful thing to witness. As the chicks hatch, they undergo a stunning metamorphosis from a tiny egg to a fluffy living creature. The amazing process of hatching begins with chicks using their tiny beaks to peck their way through the egg and break out of the shell that has nourished them for so long. When the chicks are finally out of their shells, they are covered in wet feathers and in need of special care because of their delicate structure. But this doesn't prevent them from walking and seeing. At first, they might not be the most beautiful birds to see. But within a few hours after hatching, their fluff or feathers will have bulked up to twice their size. Immediately after this, workers move the baskets to the separation area. Here, the eggshells are removed and workers will examine the chicks. The first 72 hours of life are one of the most critical stages. The chicks are given essential nutrients and the right vaccines to help them fight against common poultry diseases and ensure they stay healthy. At this stage, a suitable environment for the chicks, where the temperature is warm and comfortable, is where they are placed. Ventilation and a clean, dry area are also essential to prevent the spread of diseases. Once the initial care is complete, the chicks are carefully placed in a transport tray and sprayed with a thin layer of vaccine. They are then transported to local farms, where they will be raised under the care of farmers and veterinarians until they are big enough to be sold for meat. Some facilities hatch up to 1.3 million chicks a week. Immediately after each hatch, the incubation room, hatching trays, water pans, and floor of the hatcher go through an intensive cleaning process for the next batch of eggs that are about to be incubated. All eggshells and adhering dirt are scraped off, and all clean surfaces go through an added layer of disinfection as they are wiped with a cloth dampened in quaternary ammonium, Clorox, or other disinfectant solution. Raising of broilers. The chicken sheds or raising area are then thoroughly cleaned and set for the new arrivals of the chicks. But you should know that despite the amount of vaccination already given, some chicks are still vulnerable to diseases. The farmers monitor the chicken for any signs of illness, and any chick that's ill will be separated so that other chicks won't be affected. The importance of vaccination cannot be overlooked. Vaccination is given to prevent or reduce the adverse effects of specific poultry diseases 
that can cause problems among the flock. Conventional poultry are usually vaccinated against a variety of diseases, like Marek's disease, Newcastle disease, infectious bronchitis, infectious laryngotracheitis, foul pox, and foul cholera. For many of our poultry diseases, vaccination is the best control strategy. Since these diseases can also infect organic poultry, a routine vaccination program is done on a regular basis. If the entire flock is not vaccinated properly, the disease may spread, contaminating other chicks and bringing an untimely end to their lifespan. So when these chickens are taken to the raising area, they are properly looked after to prevent the outbreak of diseases. Before the arrival of the chicks, farmers take their time to prepare and set up the right environment for the chicks to be grown into healthy broilers. To achieve this, the floors are covered with wood chips, which are great materials for absorbing odors, urine, and traces of chicken waste. Rice hulls or peanut shells can also be used as alternative bedding materials. And in some rare cases, broilers can be grown over dry litter or compost because dry bedding helps maintain flock health. The choice of bedding materials depends on the financial capacity or personal interests of the farmer. The bedding is kept dry and clean to prevent disease, and the environment is maintained at a stable temperature. Farmers always ensure ventilation and that the temperature is suitable for the development of chicken flocks. Proper care during this final stage is vital to produce high-quality meat and ensure chicken welfare. Apart from these amazing systems already set up for the broilers to reach their full growth, the raising area is also equipped with an automated feeding system to deliver high-protein feed and clean water to the birds. These nutrients consist of a well-balanced diet, which ensures optimal growth. And what these chickens feed is made up of corn and soybean meal with the addition of essential vitamins and minerals. To avoid spillage and soiling of the dry bedding, enclosed watering systems, or nipple drinkers, are set for the growing chicks to drink from. And so what we do is we just want them to reach up and trigger that pan and have the water consumed. This is combined with artificial lighting conditions, the right ventilation systems, and heaters to stimulate eating and growth, and thus the desired body weight. This is also done to prevent suffocation due to the large number of chickens being raised. Once the chicks are on the farm, they are given proper care and hygiene so they can grow into broilers. Broilers are chickens farmed for meat, and these breeds typically take less than five to nine weeks to reach slaughter size. In the first week of a broiler's life, it can grow up to 300% of its body size. A nine-week-old broiler averages over nine pounds in body weight. At nine weeks, a hen will average around seven pounds, and a rooster will weigh around 12 pounds. Chickens are raised on the farm until they are 43 to 60 days old and reach their desired weight, typically around six to 10 pounds. In most poultry farms, chicks are raised outside, but to protect these growing chicks from predators such as hawks and foxes and the harsh living conditions of the wild, these birds are kept indoors. Here, they are safer and can be well taken care of. Some raised areas are equipped with curtain walls which can be rolled up in good weather to allow natural light and fresh air. Most grow-out houses built in recent years feature tunnel ventilation, in which a bank of fans draws fresh air through the house. So circulation fans are another component of an environmental control system. In intensive broiler sheds, the air can become highly polluted with ammonia from the droppings. In this case, a farmer must run more fans to bring in more clean, fresh air. If not, this can damage the chicken's eyes and respiratory systems and cause painful burns on their legs called hawk burns, as well as blisters on their feet. As the chicks mature and grow into full-size chickens, the production cycle begins again. At this stage, the chickens are separated based on their sex, a process known as chick sexing. This crucial step determines the future path for each bird. The male chickens, also known as cockerels, are typically taken to processing facilities for humane slaughter as they are not suitable for large-scale egg production. On the other hand, the female chickens, or pullets, are retained for their egg-laying abilities and transferred to specialized facilities for massive egg production, where they will spend their lives producing eggs for human consumption. When the female hens reach laying age and start producing eggs, 
An egg collection machine carefully gathers the eggs from the nesting boxes. The collected eggs are then gently placed onto a tray, where they are counted, cleaned, and prepared for transportation to a hatchery or processing facility, starting the cycle again from the beginning. But not all female hens are kept for egg production. A few of them are sent with a limited number of males to be slaughtered for meat production. The Slaughterhouse Once qualified for processing, the chickens are sent to the meat factory, where they are slaughtered and processed into food products. The chickens are taken through a slaughtering line, which is a series of stages designed to ensure a quick production process. The first stage of this is the stunning process, where the chickens become unconscious to reduce the amount of suffering they will go through. After this, the chickens are passed through the slaughtering process, where a machine cuts through their throat while they are hanging upside down in shackles. This method risks missing chickens, who may regain consciousness after being stunned and end up being boiled alive as they move down the slaughter line. They then go through the scalding process, where they are submerged in hot water, which is around 140 degrees Fahrenheit for a short time, usually between 30 to 60 seconds. This is done to loosen the feathers, making them easy to remove, relax the muscles, making the bird easier to process. And finally, the picking method. After scalding, the chickens are passed through a series of rubber fingers or brushes that remove the loosened feathers. This process is called picking or defeathering. The internal organs are also removed and separated. The chicken is then stored in massive cooling racks for at least one day to allow the meat to relax and maintain its quality before being processed or packaged. After that, the chicken is thoroughly washed and packaged before leaving the meat factory. To ensure food safety and hygiene, the packaged chickens are carefully frozen. Finally, they are transported to supermarkets and malls, where they are brought for consumption. Nutritional Benefits of Chicken To finally close the chapter of the journey we've embarked on so far, we need to know the nutritional benefits of the consumption of chicken. There are several nutritional benefits to chicken consumption. One of the most important benefits is that it helps build stronger bones and muscles. The lean protein we consume in chicken is an excellent source of amino acids. Our bodies use amino acids to build muscle tissue, something that is particularly important as we age. Studies have also shown that a higher protein intake helps to maintain bone mineral density. Apart from this, it has also been proven by research conducted by nutritionists that it helps with weight management and heart health. As surprising as this is, when we consume chicken, we actually take in 25 to 30 grams of protein per meal, which makes us feel fuller despite eating less. This helps to promote better weight management. Also, chicken contains the amino acid tryptophan, which has been linked to higher levels of serotonin in our brain. Serotonin, also known as the feel-good hormone, helps improve our mood. That's why you feel happy when you eat chicken. The tryptophan levels in chickens aren't high enough to make you feel instantly euphoric, but studies show it could help boost serotonin levels when paired with other factors. Chicken is filled with high-quality proteins and doesn't contain much fat, especially if you eat lean cuts. Thanks for watching. See you in our next video.